Hi everyone, and welcome to my guide on how to acquire the legendary flamer, Pyrolyzer. At least, that's how I probably should be starting this video, right? A legendary weapon guide would likely bring plenty of new people into the channel, and I might end up making those guides at some point, but not for this weapon. The sad fact is that this flamer is one of the worst weapons I've used in all of Fallout 76. It was the first time I used a flamer in this game, and I was so damn disappointed. The damage itself isn't all that bad, but the range, ammo consumption, and just about everything else is terrible. The range listed on the weapon itself, with the way I've got it modded out, is 228. Judging by how far this thing can actually reach out, I've got to imagine that's measuring in millimetres. I can literally hit enemies that are further away with some of my melee weapons. You basically have to push the nozzle into the enemy if you actually want to damage them. The suppressor's effect this weapon comes with isn't all that bad for a flamer, but I'd much rather actually kill my enemy than run up to them and reduce how much damage they deal. By far the worst part about this weapon though is the condition. I was repairing this to 200% durability, and it was breaking every other fight. I was genuinely struggling to keep it in one piece long enough to get some decent footage for this video. Chances are, I might not have enough footage for the video, despite the fact I'm planning on keeping it very short. The weapon just breaks that often. There's not all that many guaranteed legendaries you can get in this game, and most of them are kind of disappointing. The only one I think of that stands out as particularly good is Perfect Storm, and even that isn't exactly a god gun. Despite the fact the Pyrolyzer is quite so terrible, I actually really enjoyed the quest in which you acquire it. Complete the miscellaneous quest, investigate Harper's Ferry, and you start on the Trekking Unknowns quest, which has been one of my favourites in all of Fallout 76. It's got a really nice story to it, and provides more information about the Free States, a faction I kind of breezed over whilst playing their part of the main quest. I'd highly recommend everyone do the quest, but don't be expecting all that great of a reward from doing so. As I said earlier, I don't have much footage of this weapon, so I'm keeping things short. Let me know in the comments if you've come across any weapons you consider to be worse than the Pyrolyzer, and, of course, stay tuned for more Fallout 76 content. As always, thanks for watching. Sarge out.